Hi guys and welcome back to more In Bruges on the Force 90 YouTube channel continuing the Circular Bruges save on FM 2015 again today. Um, so far my one video every day this week is working well it's Thursday and I'm on my fourth video of the week so so far so good. Uh, today's game uh, we're at home we're against Heist who for some reason have a swan on their badge I don't know if that's going to be their nickname or not if not if it is I'll try and think up a name for this episode along the line of swans we'll see. Um, we're still top. Uh, we've dropped uh, back a little bit since our last live come, which was um, the previous league game because I've just come back from the winter break where we had some friendlies. So the gap is still five points and then this is the last game of the period today. So we've won the second period, but we won the first anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we are on course to uh, get promotion. We're five points clear, but that gap could close. Hopefully it doesn't. But there's only 13 games left. It's a very short, it's much, much, much shorter season because there are no um no more cup games because we're out of that already there's no european competition for the second tier so the league does not take as long unless you're in the playoffs in which case you've got three extra games to play or six i don't know if there's two if, if those games are like a double round robin the playoffs or if it's just one game i don't know uh but yeah so off screen uh, i only played some friendlies which i'd organized but i wish i hadn't because we got some injuries from for them as you can see we've got six players out injured and two players doubtful so <laughs> that, i wish i hadn't done that so our last live call we were against our rivals roselaire uh it was a 1-1 draw away from home so uh, we'll see what happened off screen so yeah uh three friendlies the first one was against le man le man and it was away from home uh, and the only goal here came from uh, Ken Appeal, the uh, young right winger. Uh, he also got injured later on in the game, so we had to bring him off. And he's only just come back from that. So uh, that was one injury that happened. Uh, Baselli Gergic was the man of the match here. He set up the goal and he made some good plays. Only three shots on target for Bruges, but we dominated possession. Le Mans didn't have a single shot on target. So despite it only being 1-0, it was a pretty one-sided one, pretty one -sided game. Next game, we were against uh, Bayern 2. I guess that's their like B team for the lower leagues. I don't know. I don't know whether that's right or not. Uh, we were 2-0 down in this game, and we came back to win 5-2. Um, two goals in three minutes for Bayern, fairly late in the second half. Martin Martinovic and Eberwein were the goals for Bayern. Uh, we did pull a goal back before half-time. Sam Valka, the... Um, but he's a backup striker, really. But I started him for this game. Try and get him some match fitness and see if he can try and stake a claim for the first team in terms of the league. And he got two goals in this game, so maybe we'll see. Uh, so he scored in the second minute of injury time in the first half, and then he scored again three minutes after the restart. I made it two, two, two fairly quickly. And then yeah, we've got more goals later on in the second half. Pacelic Gergic scored before the hour to make it three two, and then the Cornelis, the uh, right back scored from a set piece on the 62 minutes to make it 4-2 and then Daniel Muller uh, who is I oh, must have been a substitute I can't see yeah Daniel Muller then uh, scored an own goal in the 81st minute to make it 5-2 so much much better second half I, I say 2-1 down after in the first half but not really very good against essentially a, a second string by Munich but uh I say the second half was a vast improvement. Uh, and then we did not win against Hoffenheim. This is 1-1. Uh, new signing Wilson scored the goal here for us. And Hoffenheim's goal was by Sevic. We'll have a look at Wilson in a minute. But uh, here, yeah. Uh, an injury to Haroon. A knock to Martin Martins. And then in the 5-2, I think there were more injuries and knocks here. Ken Appeal took a knock. Yeah. So a lot of injuries and stuff, which is a bit annoying. So um, let's look at this um, signing. And only one more loan signing, which came from Sporting, so we're not we're not paying any wages. Ike has been contacted by a couple of pro league teams. His contract expires in 2015. Not the best of players. Uh, he's a goalkeeper. I mean, he's not terrible, but I say I want to try and get some people more potential. I'm waiting for the regions really because I've got a lot of players that whose contracts expire and I can't renew them because our wage but because we ha don't have a lot of wage budget left. And they're only on like 35 quid a week or whatever, so I can't really do anything about it. So let's have a look at this one player that's come in then. His name's Wilson. He's a right midfielder, uh, right winger. Uh, 24 years old. Um, good yeah, good age, I think. Uh, we're not paying any of, any of his wages. He's been capped a few times for the uh, under-21s. He's got six goals and 13 for them as well. 
So I think he'll start getting up to the... Um, hopefully he'll start getting some call-ups to the senior team. But we'll see what happens with that. Fairly well-rounded, like physically. Um, lots in the teens there. I so say some good technical and men mental attributes as well. I say his report's pretty good. So it's better than the right wingers we got at the moment, I, despite their potential. Ken appeals young, but and he's got good potential. But currently, he's not terrible. And we've got Kabanga as well, who is more of a striker than a right winger, but we can play him there as well. So I think Wilson will be starting on the right wing, uh, especially with Viola a long-term injury as well. So if we'll have a, have a look at our squad, we'll have a look at, at the injuries in the squad. So the first one... In what position? There we go. So the first one, Paolo Gatsaniga, our first choice goalkeeper, twisted his ankle. Um, it was just after Christmas, actually, just before the new year. And uh, he's going to be out for about another week or so. So uh, we were, we've been playing uh, Van Damme in goal for those friendlies. And then Ike, as we said, is being contacted by other clubs. Uh, Tim Smolders, I want to try and sell... Despite our despite the lack of options, thirty four years old, he is earning four grand a week, which is a fair chunk of our wage budget. He's one of the highest earners in our club, and I don't really know why he hasn't done a lot. I mean, thirteen games, only one assist in the league, and an average of six point seven three is not very good. And I don't think that warrants um, four grand a week before tax. So I put I tr I've been trying to sell him, but nobody has come in for him. I've gone with uh, offer the clubs for zero, sell at any price. I've asked him to speak to clubs. He wants to leave as well, but there's just no one in the market for him. Look at this interest, none. So, and uh, I actually renewed. His, I actually put his, extended his contract by a year earlier in the season. So I wish I hadn't now. Bit of a wage cut. He was earning more than that, but um, yeah, a bit of a wage cut. Other injuries. Faris Haroon. Uh, is in, he's suffering from a thigh injury but I've got him on injections just to get through this match against highest and then after that it might be three to four weeks but it might be as many as five that's if he uh, aggravates it uh, and th then we get into the bad stuff I mean, these guys are pretty much all attacking midfielders so Martin Martins Loney from Palk uh, Gash Leg he's going to be out for a couple of weeks Baselic Gergic, attacking midfielder, central. So both him and Martins are out, so we have no central attacking midfielder. He's also got a gas leg. He's out for five to nine days. Valentin Viola is a long-term injury. Torn hamstring is going to be out for another five to seven weeks. And then Wilson, we've just hined him. He scored in that. He scored in his very first game and then had to come off. Bruised rib. Only going to be out for a few days, though, so we'll see him back uh, before long. But a lot of injuries going forward so I think we might have to play with uh, two defensive midfielders with this game today as I said against Heist we're at home uh, let's see how we do so they're playing a straight 4-4-2 so we're going to have to sort of change things around a bit I mean look at this so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to put Haroon into the that smack bang in the middle we'll bring a guy back to there and we'll do a quick pick so it might yeah it's going to have to be something like this uh, Cornelius is back though, so that's good. Um, I think we'll have to leave it at that. Don't want to play Van Roos though. Where's. So we've got Haroon on injections, so let's play him. Uh, and DA, Van Acker. I think we'll leave this as it is. We'll have Gevlik on though. We don't need a goalkeeper. There we go. So we'll submit the team. Uh, we can play Haroon despite it being red. So we'll see how we do. So we are we are missing a lot of players here today. I'm hoping we can do well. I mean, Lomel are at home against Open, who are down in twelfth. So you've got to think if we don't get if we don't get maximum points here, Lomel will, and they'll close the gap even more. Don't want that to happen. So let's go to the team talk. Um, I think we should just expect to win. Let's go for that. Let's go assertive, and let's get on with it. So here we go. It's heist that kick off. And let's see how we do here today. And they've got a highlight straight away from a corner and they've scored. Less than four minutes played. Van Leberg has scored and we're 1-0 down. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. I, I've been meaning to change one of the instructions. Though. I want us to sit a bit deeper and I keep forgetting to do it at the start of every game. 
So I'm going to do it now. We're going to sit a bit deeper. If we're on counter, they're coming onto us. We're going to be too high when they're coming onto us. So I'm going to drop a bit deeper. And well, they've had a bit more possession than us as well. Half an hour played. Just that one highlight so far, which is the goal. I think we need to try and push forward a bit. Let's try and control the game a bit more because. I say possession hasn't been good. They've got an injury. So here we go. Um, we've got a highlight now. Cornelius the right back. It's come to NDA. And Van Ack is there. Shoots on the edge of the box. Or just inside the box. And makes it 1-1. 43rd minute. So just before half time. Good place to score a goal. Good time to score a goal. Any any place is a good place to score a goal. As long as it's on a pitch. So first half. It's uh, still 1-1. Hasn't been terrible. But I say we can still win this. Um... I'm not happy with your defensive work. So you you can make the difference. And the strikers, again, you can make the difference. There we go. Not a bad team talk. Let's uh, see how we start the second half. Board in, passes forward, but it's blocked. Gavazai here. I'm guessing that's how it's um, pronounced because it probably rhymes with Yanazai. Van der Poot to Gillis. To Wines. And they're passing around here, but we've won the ball here in the A to Van Acker. Finds Sukuta the Pazu. They're headed to Faris Haroon. Doing well so far. Kabanga's there. Kabanga scores. It's 2-1. That's his eighth goal of the season. I think he's put him uh, level with Viola now in terms of goals scored. I don't know how many Richard has scored, though. So I'll have a look, I'll, I'll have a look after the game. I'll have a look at our top scorers and our top performers because there are some good ones in there, but again, there's some disappointing ones. Smolders springs to mind 74 minutes played um i'm gonna bring off van acker and we're gonna play um we are gonna bring on smolders because if we can't sell him we might as well make use of him so we'll bring on tim smolders uh we'll have him as a advanced playmaker and we're still control. Well, I think control's working well. You know, we're winning now, so we don't need to change anything. If they equalise, then maybe something needs to change. They've got a corner here, and it's come on, clear it away. Get it away. Webber's in DA's there, and he clears it up pitch. It's going to go out for a throw. It's the end of the highlight. 88 minutes played now. That's gone pretty quickly. I'm going to make some changes. We're going to bring on Valka for Suku to Pazu. And we're going to bring on. Kane appeal for Kabanga. Just to try and keep it a bit fresh for the last few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go uh, contain actually for injury time just to try and force that win through. Kane appeals here. Can we get a third one maybe? Dehena. He's um, dispossessed by Gavazai. Cornelis with a header forward. His Webbers. Cornelis wins the ball back again. He's a good defender, is Cornelis. He cut inside the middle there really well. Tim Smolders. Time sh time should be up now, really. We're past two minutes of injury time. Here's Valka. If we get a goal from this, then fine. But if they equalise, I'm going to be annoyed because it's 30 seconds over two minutes. There's the final whistle. Um, not the most highlight-filled game, but um, it's a win. I, I would say we got away with that. So, uh, yeah, it's a win, though. So uh, it extends our lead. Lomel did win as well. So uh, the gap is still five points. But we scored 57 goals from 22. That's... An average of what two more than two an av average of over two and a half goals a game so that's good um no injuries from that as well which is good um a bit rare for me actually usually i end up with a knock or an injury of some sort but maybe the guys that i do have a that are injured they're just injury prone because it's happening quite a lot especially to uh, martins and gergic uh yeah so there's haroon so we knew that was going to happen um so, no real um, aggravation to the injury. It's just what he was suffering from before. So, he's going to be out for three to four weeks. Again, we've been called the Tinkerer. I think that should be our nickname from now on. The, like, tink, the, the new Tinkerer or something. Because, I say, Ranieri is back in management in England, isn't he? So, um, Milan Iket is going to be going to Vaslan Beveren uh, on a free transfer on the Bosman rule. That's fine. I've got a lot of people on my shortlist. I, I just shortlisted everyone that I'd scouted that could have like as much as four-star potential just to s see what happens to them and stuff like that. There's quite a lot of them, but I just want to see when we can make signings, what will be available to us. If they start signing contracts or moving, then I'll take them off. But I say I just want to keep keep tabs on them. 
So um, that was a victory, which is good. wasn't wasn't the most convincing of victories. We came from behind. Um, so I think I know what the uh, last few games is going to consist of. There's only going to be maybe two more live comms before we end the season. So we'll see how we we'll, we'll see what happens. Right. So let's have a look at our schedule then. So we've got five. 10, 11, no, 12 games left. Yeah, that's right, because we just ended the period, didn't we? So we're in the, we're, we've got the last period to do. So 12 games. Our next live come will be against uh, Verton. It's away from home. And then that will be on tomorrow, Friday. And then on Saturday, we'll be doing a double live come. We'll be hosting Mon, and then we'll be away from home against Alst. Uh, and then Sunday, I'm going to try and do a scenario Sunday's video, and then if I do have time as well, I will um, do the season review on Sat Sunday, and then, which won't be a very long video, it'll be more looking at other, con other nations, really, because we can see who did good and who did badly from just one season, really. Won't be a very long video, but then maybe that's a good thing. Uh, and then hopefully Monday, we can just get straight on with the second season, but then I would then have to have Sunday night playing all the pre-season which usually takes a while so I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about what to do but our next live come will definitely be away against Verton so um, yeah that's uh, to look forward to We, I don't think we'll be making any more signings in the January window uh, unless unless they're loan signings which you can't pay any wages on then we won't be making any because we have no money to do so so um, yeah uh, that's going to do it for today's video and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video no, excuse me, I forgot about something. Uh, something I said I was going to do, and I haven't done it yet. So uh, I was going to look at our stats for the whole team. So let's look at our league stats then. So appearances. Uh, so I don't I don't know if there's anyone that has actually played every minute, is there? Uh, Boyce and Borden have played every game so far. Um, every minute as well, I think. They might have been substituting some of them, but yeah, they've, played, they've had an involvement in every game. Uh, Richard is the top scorer in the league at the moment. Well... For us, anyway, with uh, 12 goals. Uh, Viola and Cabanga are on 8. Dehaena's on 7. Martins is on 5. Defender Cornelis on 4. Uh, and then two more defenders on 3 and 2. Wills and Boise. Faris Haruma, 2. Borden, Van Acker, Kenny Peel and Gergic with 1. Assists. Dehaena's top with 10. Martins has 8. Couple of people on 6. Man of the match was the Kuta Pazu has 4. What is this slight concern? Needs to leave for first team football. I am starting you. What is... I started you in 13 games. I don't know what his problem is there. Pass completion rate, Sam Valka. Um, well, he's got 90% pass completion, but he hasn't started a game yet. So I might start him in the next game. We'll see. Uh, lots of people in the 80s, which is good to see. So that's all right. Uh, tackling and DA, very good. Averaging almost nine tackles a game. Very good. Uh, dribbles, there's Viola with about 3.27. Dehaena also with 3.27. Uh Yellow cards aren't a big issue, really. The D and DA has the most, and he only has four. Uh, just the one red card so far, which, again, isn't DA. Uh, best performers. Cornelis is our top performer, 7.72. dehane has got 7.55. Looking down the bottom, uh, Gevlik has been involved in four games, hasn't done very well. Valka, five games off the bench. Smolders, five starts and nine sub-appearances, 6.73. Uh, Martins, again, three substitute appearances and three starts. Kanepel's come from the bench 11 times, so I think we need to try and maybe give him some starts. Dusen, 12 starts, uh, only 6.83, not great, but again, but not terrible either. I think Borden and uh, Wills are our best defensive duo, so they'll be our first choice ones, but we'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, now that will be at the end of the video, um, I do apologise for missing that out intent, um, initially, so there you go. Uh, so now I will end the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.